Hey guys, my name is Daniel Mudeki, and I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. Most importantly, I'd like us all to thank God for enabling us to be here. We always say that life is a gift. Seeing a new day is a gift. So always be quick to give thanks to God for enabling you to see a new day. Guys, I know there are some of you who are watching these videos and things have been tough for you. You've been through a very difficult season in your life. And as we approach the end of the year, I just want you to look back and see that God has a plan and purpose over your life. Whatever it is you're going through, it will not last forever. And so I pray that you'll put your hope and trust on the rock who is God, the Lord Almighty. As usual, my brothers and sisters, I leave my details right at the bottom of the screen right there. And so if you need to get to me, send me an email, chat me up, send me a message on my social media pages, and I'll make it a point to at least try and get back to each and every one of you in regard to whatever it is you want us to talk about. Well, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't hesitate, press the subscription button, and remember the notification bell so that you're always alerted when we post a new video, which by God's grace is each and every Sunday. Well, guys, new week, new video. And this is a blessed week. This is a special week. This week, we celebrate Christmas. And today, I'd like us to talk about something that is very important and as to why you and me are free today. And today's topic is God's contingency plan. You see, guys, when God created the earth, he created everything for the benefit of this special being that he was about to create. And this was man. And so God created the heavens, the earth, the waters, the seas, the animals, and everything in it. And all of these things were to benefit man. And so when man was created, he was given just one task, to take care of what it is that God had developed for him. Man was simply to be a manager of what God had created. But as God put him in charge of everything, he gave him commands and rules and requested him not to partake of the apple that was in the middle of the garden. You see, guys, the Garden of Eden was a place of provision. It was a place of peace. It was a place of joy. It was a place of abundance. It was a place of wisdom. You see, man was so close to God that the scriptures in the book of Genesis tell us that they walked together in the cool of day. You see, guys, God is a spirit. And so if you ask yourself, how would God and man walk together in the cool of day? This was because man was also in the spiritual realm. Man was not only flesh, but spirit. And so he and God were in the same presence. But God gave him a command. Do not eat of the tree that is in the middle of the garden. Do not partake of its fruit. And if you do, you will surely die. You see, with God, his word is bigger than his own name. With God, his word comes with choice. He gives you choice. And with God, your choice have consequences. And so if you fast forward the story, when Eve came into the garden and she was tempted by the serpent, and unfortunately, they both partook of the apple that was forbidden. What exactly happened at that moment in time is that God came to the garden and started looking for Adam. You know, for me, this was such a revelation. It was so clear because in previous chapters of the Bible or verses in the book of Genesis, you see, God would walk with Adam hand in hand in the cool of day. But this time when Adam had sinned, God had to look for him. Because remember the consequence? The day you eat of this fruit, you will surely die. You see, some of you think that what was to die was the flesh. This flesh by design is designed not to live forever. Your flesh has a sell-by date. 
Your flesh cannot inherit the kingdom of God. And so this was to die. What God meant when he said you will surely die was the spirit man, the spiritual connection to God, the Aden, the place of peace, the place of abundance, the place of provision that God had given, that was closed up. And so when God came in spirit form, he could not see Adam because Adam's spirit was dead. And as per his word, God banished them out of the Garden of Eden, out of his abundance, out of his love, out of his peace. And that is why you realize post the book of Genesis, God interacts with man through prophets and priests because the connection that was directly to man had been broken. But God loved the world so much. He loved man so much that he left or he put in place a contingency plan that if man was to disobey, if man was to fall for the desires of his flesh and sin against me and be driven apart from me, then I will put in place a plan that will bring me back to man, that man will be brought back to me. And if you realize what I'm talking about, then you know that the contingency plan was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was the plan that God put in place, that he will come and die for us all, so that we can be reconnected back to God. You see, when Adam sinned, what happened was that disconnection. That is what died. As I told you, this flesh was meant to die, but the spirit was meant to live forever. But that is what died at that moment in time. But in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, we clearly understand that for God so loved the world, that he gave us his only begotten son, that whosoever is to believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus came to reconcile us back to God. Jesus came to bring back the relationship that had been severed by sin. And so he came and took the burden, the consequence, that you and I were supposed to face, Jesus Christ came and took it on our behalf so that you and I can be free. And so today, you and I are able to go to God directly through prayer. As Adam communicated to God, you and I can today communicate to God. You and I can have a relationship with the maker. You see, guys, I want to explain Aden. The Garden of Eden was a place of plenty, a place of provision, a place of abundance, a place of peace, a place where man was only required to manage what God had given him. But when he stepped out of God, when man stepped out of God, when man stepped out of the relationship with the source, then he stepped out of abundance. He stepped out peace. He stepped out of joy. He stepped out of God's original intent for him. And that's why you heard he was told, you will toil. You will struggle. You will hustle. You will break a sweat to get what I was giving you for free. Life will be hard to get the things that I was giving you for free in Aden. And today, my brothers and sisters, I want to tell you, the Garden of Aden is a state of being. And you and I today can go back to the Garden of Aden, but only if you reconnect back to the source. You must connect back to God so that he can take you back to the place of provision. He can take you back to the place of abundance. He can take you back to the place of peace. He can take you back to the place of joy. And that is what Jesus Christ came to do. He came to reconnect us back to the source. 
back to the original plan, back to the blueprint that was created for you. And so today I want you to remember the reason for the season is Jesus Christ. And he is the contingency plan that God set in place that would reconnect us back to him. See guys, I always tell you that the life I lived in the past was very empty. And a lot of you are living a similar life today. A life with no satisfaction, no gratification. Everything you do, you think will give you satisfaction, but by the end of the day, it doesn't. You know, you chase the money, eventually you get it, but you need more. You chase the lifestyle, you get it, eventually you need more. You chase the career, you get the promotion, but then you still need more. You see, the thing is this, every man is born seeking that which died. The day you eat of this fruit, you'll surely die. That was a spirit man. And so when we start growing, that is the emptiness we have. That is what we seek as human beings. And so you think you'll find it in alcohol. You don't. You think you'll find it in drugs. You don't. You think you'll find it in men or women. You don't. You think you'll find it in money. You don't. You think you'll find it in wealth. You don't. You think you'll find it in traversing the whole world. You don't. You go vast places looking for that peace, that abundance, that joy that left Adam, but you don't find it. Because the only place it is, is in Jesus Christ. It is in the reconnection. What departed must be reconnected. You cannot put something else to fill in that gap because only God can fill it. And that is the experience I had in 2016. When I rededicated my life to Christ, I was complete. My emptiness was complete. And I gave thanks to God for this season of Christmas because I am free because Jesus Christ died for my sins. Sometimes I ask myself, who am I? A mere human being. Who am I that God sent his only begotten son for me? Isn't that love? Isn't that a relationship that he wants us to have with him? And so my friends, I urge you today, remember that this season we are in, yes, a lot of us have fun, make merry, and meet family. But I want you to ask yourself, what is your relationship with the source? What is your relationship with God? Have you taken advantage of Jesus Christ dying for your sins and reconnecting you back to the source? Or are you still living a life where you are searching to feel the emptiness of your heart. As I said, you've got the money, but you're still empty. You've got the big house, but you're still empty. You've got the big career. You've got the beautiful wife or husband. You've got the lovely children, but you still feel like you're empty. You feel like there's more your life is all about. Stop struggling. Stop hustling. Go back into the Garden of Eden, into the provision of God, into the abundance of God. You know, in a certain video, I told you guys, a book of Psalms, chapter 127, that says, the builders build a city in vain if they build it without God. The watchmen look over the city in vain if they look over it without God. Early you rise, Late you go to sleep, looking for what to eat and food to drink. But God gives rest to those he loves. To those he loves, to those who have been called according to his purpose, to those who have accepted God and accepted to be in his kingdom. Then he creates within you a state 
of a garden of Eden. A place of provision. A place of abundance. A place of plenty. And so as we celebrate this season of Christmas, I pray that the Lord God will help you understand his reason for your creation why he brought you to this world. And remember, the contingency plan that was set in place to reconnect you to God, that was Jesus Christ. And so I pray that this Christmas will not only be a season of making merry, but will be a season of reconnecting back to the source. And so guys, my viewers, I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous, 2022 that is ahead but remember God is looking for you and he wants you back in his kingdom until next time take care God bless and remember like this video subscribe to the channel and share with your friends and family God bless Merry Christmas